Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays. I wish you all the best in 2024 and I wish you a lot of health and a lot of prosperity and everything you put your mind to to be achievable and done with no resistance and in general easy to be everything flowing and easy. <laughs> To go with the flow and whatever you put your mind to to be as easy as this in this video today i'm planning to do something different and to give you maybe a, just a glimpse of what ux ui review looks like or maybe how it starts for me and i just want to make a clear uh, distinction here that this is the beginning of uh, ux ui uh, review it's not the actual UX UI review because UX UI review includes much more than just checking out the website or the web page for example it may include different types of testing usability heuristics this means going through a checklist and checking every single um, domain and part of the website if it's fitting in answering uh, design principles so today I'm just going to um, pick, I picked already one random website that I was looking for a build products here in Croatia in Zagreb and I just stumbled upon this uh, um, website and I was like I don't know them and uh, I would just like start uh, the UX UI review in terms of I would just walk you through what goes through my brain whenever I start the review and then after having these initial thoughts and then i do a little bit of uh, research testing the usability going through the buttons interactions and everything create a much more detailed review in terms of video or written so let's get started but before we continue i would like to ask you to support my channel by liking subscribing and also sharing with a friend because this really helps my channel uh, get out there and also inform people about uh, how to use their experience best design practices freelancing solopreneurship self-improvement and everything that i touch on here on my youtube channel so okay let's start first of all by the branding we can understand that this is a website for something green something eco something bio i really like how they put the contact links on the top which means that they are accessible and open for communication also they put here the social proof really clear label of the email so the clients and customers can get in touch with them fast and easy and whenever I hover on the actual icons, I can see in the bottom, the camera doesn't capture it, but there is always a tiny little link in the bottom left corner where it says what is behind that uh, icon for this uh, example or image. Um, what I wanted to say here is that it looks like it's a template and there's not much interaction going on in terms of hovering on the wish list, uh, the card and the profile almost looks like static and flat, like it's not actually um, accessible. Also, I want to shop as a user, but I don't see where the products, right? Like uh, the actual products when you have like individual products so I'm not sure if this is like the like the website for the brand or the e-commerce where I can actually web shop because it's all blended here in the menu I don't have like the clear distinction where the products are and I can see them here on the bottom but uh, let's go up top to bottom uh, well, also, I think here the search is really good when it's popping out like this, but I would probably suggest they put it actually on a more prominent space like here under the contact information or under the actual menu. Also here for uh, the menu, maybe they would need, I would suggest probably to make it more concise and just include the most important information 
also the web shop to be maybe even the first page for example maybe to redirect people there but see when I click on the web shop I need to you also use a category but I don't have time to think about that I just want to see the products I just want to check out what they have so this is already as a user kind of frustrating me a bit so that's one thing but that's me I'm one part of the user uh, user category and uh, audience I fit one persona of all of their personas that they probably have mm. what I want to say here is that I see good contrast on the main um, slider which is good this one is also quite nice they present their um, brand quite well this here it's not that visible maybe it would need some fading in um, better contrast also the slider is quite big for the desktop I am sure probably on mobile it looks much better and we are going to check in the uh, second part of the review but I wish there was some call to action here and maybe some more <laughs> maybe some more uh, maybe better hierarchy in terms of um, the titles and um, the messaging, the copy because it is blending with the image as, uh, as a back background image except from that previous one, the one with the, the nail polish I believe everything else doesn't seem that, uh, how to say, doesn't seem that attention grabbing that's about the hero section. This is just wasted real estate of design, in my opinion. Uh, the second part is something about them. We are a bio boutique, that's great. I like the interaction here with each and every bullet point. Um, they ba basically say a little bit about what they do and how they do it. Uh, they search dermatological and clinical uh, researched products I believe they don't test on animals that's important something here that I might suggest is adding imagery icons something that can give weight to that message because these are important parts of uh, your brand identity and I believe just listing them like that it's fine but for much more weight some visuals would be great, maybe even here one gallery if you can see my pointer here. Yeah. Also in terms of consistency, this icon could be probably green to blend in with the rest. And also since here the main, um, the first letter is not capitalized, maybe this seems like screaming. So maybe I would suggest uh, to just leave it in a bold um, font and this to be a regular so it can have a bigger weight maybe and also if you are going to use capital letters use them everywhere here I don't know what this section is about I would also like to see a heading because also for SEO purposes if this is heading 1 we will see in the inspect later there should be heading 2 here uh, indicating what this section is about now here uh, the categories are very interesting again contrast it's gone it's not that good and I cannot read I cannot read and I have to squint so I can see what it says especially details or um, whatever it says here it's not yeah details it's not that visible on some images the interaction is fun. I just wish they maybe use some overlay or fading so the text can be much more um, readable, at least on hover, because on hover it would be nice to see what I'm hovering on, even though the images are uh, so, um, how to say, high quality and crisp, which is good. Um, and then too many categories to be honest uh, I would probably narrow them down to the top categories like maybe top six categories and then show more so they don't overwhelm the user and also 
to minimize the load speed of the page. I believe that would be a nice idea. And now this is my favorite section and I wish this section was actually on the top under the hero section. In terms of saying what your business is about, getting straight to business, selling basically. Also add to cart, I would suggest to have it outside of the image. For example, this one to be here somewhere next to the, maybe under the title. Also uh, to be aligned would be nice, but if this is intentional, then it's fine. Uh, what else? I see here some inconsistency with the images with the background color and those without. It Those without look fine, those with it looks like it, they stand out a bit more. The double pricing is normal thing here in Croatia. Um, also for better readability I would probably suggest to have uh, the name, the, the title of the product uh, either with small caps or uh, camel case. Then we go to the certificates. This is what I'm talking about. This is a good example of including a heading before the section starts. Now here the certificates look kind of centered, but they're all different proportions and maybe it would be nice to have them uh, a little bit smaller and maybe one strip that it's rotating. That would be a nice touch. If not, they could be also flat but they could be probably faded with like black and white and then on hover to show up the actual color of the certificates but not necessarily just maybe a bit more organized and not taking so much space because they're like kind of not they don't fit the the whole structure of the website as you can see it's like boxy 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 and then you have these random circles here that are like they seem like they're out of place. The footage is very, very minimal. I appreciate the, the different types of uh, payment that they have um, included. The copyright is fine. Uh, but I think here would be nice to include some of the links. Back to top button is great. It would be nice probably to include more of the links from the main view here in the bottoms for some kind of um, navigation through the website maybe a little bit more about uh, the the brand as well in, in general just more information because this is very very bare minimum what else uh, as i said here the interactions this one here would be better if it's like included in the whole menu and let's see how it looks like on mobile. Maybe iPad first. So this is how it looks on tablet. I like the links up there. The menu opens on the left rather than the right. That's it's not a big deal. Again, wasted uh, real estate here. The way it looks like at the moment. The categories. As you can see, maybe I can refresh. Some of the titles don't look quite good, like the vegan, um, the vegan products. They maybe should reduce the category titles, uh, like to make them less pixels. Let's see. Okay, let's test how it will look like if we take the vegan, the vegan uh, products. Find this one. Yes, this is the diff, this is the A, then we need to find the H, and this is the pixels 42 here, let's make this 25, this one also 25, no 35, 30, now it looks better. I mean, it's dirty, at least we can read what it says here. So yeah, they can experiment and change the different size. Also, the categories here are uh, the newest products, the most popular ones, and special offers. That's why I'm saying that this section here would be so much helpful for the user if it's on the top here, under, and then maybe we are 
to be the third in a row. Um, what else here again? They look better to be honest here, the certificates, but still it's too much white space on the bottom and the footer is too little too small and also the icons are barely visible so i think some adjustments here in the proportions would be nice let's check the phone well, let's refresh okay now the menu is taking the whole space for those that are left-handed i think would be useful but maybe some padding from the top would be better so the menu can be accessible from the lower part uh, of the users where are the thumbs but that can this can work as well okay there is a drop down here that's nice also the the search is having the same functionality functionality as the desktop but again i would probably advise him to put it on more visible uh, spot maybe even under or uh, above here the text is also not very readable because it disappears <laughs> so that could be uh, checked out and tested this here it's not visible at all hard to read a little bit more space in between the paragraph and the header Again, here the heading would be nice. This one has a good contrast as it is easy to read, but lower as lower we go, white on white doesn't work. And also the background also has white, so it's quite hard to make a distinction what it actually says. Yeah, too many categories. I would opt for having show more or show all categories or something like that. Mm, or maybe make them two by two smaller images that could be also option here the drop down here the drop down is acting quite weirdly i don't know maybe to check this functionality how it actually looks like on the phone to test it out some spacing between the elements would be nice and again i would take out the add to cart button and put it here below the the product title the certificates actually look good here and they're quite prominent maybe i would make them again smaller and make be two by two or something like that there are different variations the the payment here on the bottom almost disappears so i don't know what's happening about that where is the copyright where is the what was the the other links here on the bottom uh -huh. uh, terms of use I believe is it let's see terms of purchase okay yeah the, this link it disappeared in the basically in, in the mobile and the tablet version and that's it thank you so much for watching until the end uh, if you like this video make sure to leave a like subscribe and share with a friend Leave your thoughts below in the comments because I'm looking forward to them. And of course, if you need a UX UI review, you can book a call with me for free, discovery call, where we can chat about 30 minutes and uh, see if we're a good collaborator fit. And then we can discuss what you need and how can I help you. Here are some uh, insights about the process, how much it costs, and it lasts until January 2024. So make sure to check the description below for the link and uh, if you have any questions make sure to leave them also in the chat. And yeah, that's it. This is the glimpse what goes behind the UX UI review on the first glance and then much more work follows. So happy holidays and see you in the next one. Bye!